What's up everyone, Zach Slife here, and today we're gonna be checking out my custom shop, Skurvesson Raptor. So many of you are aware that I recently acquired a Black Machine B6 guitar earlier this year. You can check out the video that I made up here in this corner after you watch this video. Because as much as I really wanted to love that guitar, right? It was one of my holy grail guitars. It was on every bucket list that I had. I've wanted one for about a decade now. There's just something about it that I didn't quite jive with. I loved the neck. The weight of the guitar was great and I really enjoyed how it looked. But there's just something about the tone of the guitar that didn't quite resonate with me. And I also do a lot of split coil and coil tap style tones live and in studio. And I didn't want to mod that guitar to be something that it wasn't. The guitar by itself was great but it wasn't what I needed. So I did some looking into and some research on guitars that would have been similar to it, but more fit for what I needed. So I put the Black Machine up for sale and I got a message right away from a guy in Maryland who had this Skurvesson Raptor. Now I've been familiar with this company for years, but I've never had the chance to see one in person, let alone play one. And if you just take a look at this gorgeous top, I mean, the, the top alone is reason enough for me to have this because it's exactly the kind of finish that excites me and gets me motivated and inspired to play. I really, really wanted a Nebula Majesty that Music Man put out, which you can check out here, but I didn't have the funds for it when it came out and people are asking ridiculous prices for it. So I figured this is basically a mix between a Majesty and a Black Machine, right? It's a Black Machine in design and style, but with different woods and extremely high quality craftsmanship that I would say is very comparable to the Black Machine that I had. But it has a more modern layout and switching system and just offers a little bit more than what that guitar had. So today we're gonna see why I chose to trade my Black Machine B6 for this custom shop Skurves and Raptor 6. This custom Skurvesson Raptor 6 is a six string electric guitar with a 25 and a half inch scale length and the neck features 24 jumbo stainless steel frets, flame maple fretboard with ivoroid binding, a five piece Wenge purple heart neck, lumen lay inlays on the fretboard, side dots, and a custom anniversary inlay on the 12th fret. Mahogany body, poplar burl top, finished in a beautiful nebula finish. The pickups include a bare knuckle nail bomb in the bridge and a VH2 in the neck. Matching hip shot locking tuners and bridge. The control layout features a single volume knob, a three-way pickup selector, and their world domination mod. So now that we've heard this guitar in a mix, let's see what it sounds like by itself with no post-processing.
Just about wraps up today's video. I am blown away by how awesome this guitar is. It feels incredible, it sounds and plays incredible, and there's just so many options on this guitar. I cannot wait to take it out on the road with Crash the Party and tour with it and really put it through its paces. The top alone is just, I mean, look at that. That is a beautiful Nebula style finish, and I think it's gonna turn heads and it's gonna inspire and motivate me to play even more, which is really the whole point of getting new gear, right? Is to keep you inspired or to give you new ideas or to bring something new to the table that you don't already have. And this Scurvest and Raptor 6 does exactly that. Be sure to leave your thoughts and opinions in the comments section below. I read and respond to every single one of them. I love to see what you all have to say and it helps me figure out what kind of content I want to continue putting out as a YouTuber. Social media links are on the side. Those links are below as well. Check me out on Instagram. I post every day on Instagram between my stories and my posts, and I think you'll all appreciate what's there. Take two seconds to smash that subscribe button. According to my analytics, 85% of you who regularly watch my videos aren't subscribed. That might seem pretty interesting, right? You watch all my videos, how come you're not subscribed? Take two seconds, hit that button below. As always, everyone, keep on rocking, keep on practicing, stay safe.